Tim Hortons right up here on to the right past the intersection this is actually a brand new Tim Hortons uh, they only built this probably maybe three years ago two three years ago it's not been open that long I remember when I first came to Canada I lived just off of the street into the area up there to the right to the right up there a little further down the road there's a couple of apartments up there I remember those days, uh, there's no Tim Hortons up here. But you guys are probably wondering where we're off to. Well, we got ourselves a fantastic trip up to Clinton, Massachusetts. That's right. That is a fantastic trip. I love it. I love it. That's some great miles. That's about 2,900 kilometers, and if memory serves me right, that's about 1,800 miles. I think that's about what it is. Yeah. So, this is about where Steinbach will end here in a very, about a few, uh, Hundred yards down the road here. Well, yeah. about it's a nice little quiet town. I like it. I like it here. That's right. But it is Saturday. We gotta work. We've been working the last few weekends in a row, but uh, at least this time we were home Friday night or Friday all day long that was fantastic I got to spend the time with my family and some friends we were able to invite some friends and cook a nice turkey as you saw yesterday's video that was fantastic that turned out really super super good I hadn't cooked a turkey in a good little while like that outside on the grill and uh, it just turned out really really good I was very happy with myself on how good it turned out to be but we we're supposed to get some uh, ice rain the wife said and it almost looks like it's starting to drizzle already I was hoping I could beat that ice rain, but uh, I guess if it comes, it comes, I suppose. You will have no choice to and to accept it, right? But we do have a heavy load. This load that I am holding right now is pretty much maxed out right now. That's right. 
but we were able to haul it legally. I was exactly 12,000 pounds on the steering, exactly 34,000 on the drives, and I was like 33,260, I think. Yep, on the trailer. I was just looking at my notebook there. Got a little notepad up there. Yeah, anyways, let's get on down the road and let's have ourselves a fantastic day. Thanks for joining my show today. And let's have ourselves a fantastic day together. I hope you're going to have a fantastic weekend. Here we go, guys. We are now officially in Minnesota. That's right. Looks like it's a beautiful day out here today. It's not sunshine today, but uh, look at these road conditions. Uh, that's good for winter, you know, like nice dry roads up here. That's ideal for me. I ain't gonna complain about this weather, that's for sure. Especially since they're talking about getting some ice rain up here. It's not raining yet, so uh, we are still in business as they say still don't have no ice rain so that's fantastic yeah no hassle today at crossing the border really easy going DOT was not sitting there at the border today like they've been doing lately we are free to go that's right. We can now officially go deliver our load. And it says we got 1,637 miles to go. Now I think the GPS wants me to go Highway 2 across or something like that. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I think I'm going to take right down south to go, well, first we're gonna go up to Duluth, so that's all back roads, but uh, from there, we're gonna take that 53 south up to uh, 94, and uh, that's how we are gonna uh, get to 94 interstate, and then we'll be on interstate all the way, pretty much. I guess for the last little while we won't be, but uh, for the most part, we'll be on interstates. We're gonna have ourselves a fantastic weekend. Oh, look at that. Looks like a big freight. I used to drive for this company right here. Same kind of truck style too. Yep, that's still the old style Kenworth. I didn't think they had any of them left, but I guess they do have a few of them for short haul, I guess. Just running over here and because uh, what he's holding there, I know exactly what it is because I used to do that all the time but I'm not going to say what it is but uh, he only goes up here to Roseau for the most part picks up loads over there yep but anyways we are going to put the hammer down and uh, get some good miles in today as much as we can possibly do well maybe not max it out to the full extent to the 11 hours but I'm suspecting we'll be past uh, Duluth today, Superior, Wisconsin, by the time we stop. That's the plan anyways. So let's get on down the road and see what happens from here to there, right? We are just leaving uh, Swan River, Minnesota. That's right. Just had me a little bit of a pit stop up here. Yeah, I had to have my half an hour break, right? So we took our little break up here. And took care of some business, cleaned my headlights and all that good stuff. Because as you know, it's just getting darker and darker. So uh, pretty soon the sun might be all the way down and we need, my, we need our headlights to be able to see, right? That's right. We had a little bit of rain there earlier, or ice drizzle, or whatever you want to call it, but uh, nothing really to worry about, you know. So 
but we've been good. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we probably have another, I don't know, maybe a hundred miles and we'll be in uh, Duluth, Minnesota. I don't know exactly how far it is, but uh, it's a good while yet. I think from here it is uh, probably about hour and three quarter or something like that up to there. So, yeah, there's a little ways to do yet. Hopefully it won't be completely dark yet by the time I roll in there. Because I really enjoy videotaping uh, the whole show, like when we come off the mountain there and you go down into the Duluth area. It's actually beautiful up there, you know. Absolutely gorgeous. So, I love to show you guys that. But we'll see if we still have enough sunlight by the time we get there. Because it's already uh, 4.37 in the afternoon right now. Yeah, Saturday afternoon. Would have been nice to be home for the weekend though. But, uh, yeah, well, can't have everything, they say. Especially since I told you guys last year already. And I'm, uh, I'm actually working on uh, paying off some debt that I have uh, accumulated over the years. I'm actually getting around to paying that off. And so far I'm doing pretty good. I'm very impressed with myself on how much I have been able to do so far. So uh, I'm kind of working hard on that. Trying to uh, get more and more debt paid off. Did really good this last month again. Hopefully we can continue that trend. I can keep busy and work really good. Work really hard. Should be able to pay some debt off this year. That's pretty much my uh, New Year's resolution. Pretty much to pay off uh, a good chunk of my debt. That would be fantastic. But anyways. Let's continue on cruising along here and we'll see if we can show you Duluth today. Well ladies and gentlemen, as you can see it is still daylight or it is daylight. Yeah, it's the next morning. <laughs> yeah, I drove quite late last night and uh, well, when I got here I did not feel like recording anything. I felt like going straight to bed and that's what we did. I just went straight to bed, so I figured, well, let's get up this morning, went inside and washed my face off a little bit, and, uh, and now we're getting ready to uh, start our day, but uh, we made it to Tomaha, Wisconsin, it was a good, uh, uh, almost 600 miles up to here, so we had a good day, that's fantastic. I think uh, that will allow us to get to Clinton tomorrow night if we can uh, just have another good day today and then another one tomorrow and then we should be in uh, Clinton, Massachusetts. So, anyways, I know it's probably a little bit of a shorter video. I like to make them a little bit longer, but hey, better short and sweet than long and boring, right? But uh, anyways, that's enough for me today. We'll catch you on the next one. Be sticking around for tomorrow, and you might see a very nice vlog. So, have a good one, everybody, and give me a big thumbs up. If you like the video, share it. If you're uh, just checking us out, hey, hit that subscribe button down there below, and uh, you'll be notified every single day of a new uh, video when it comes out. I usually release my videos uh, at 2 a.m. in the morning, but that doesn't mean you can't watch them for the rest of your life. But uh, uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, um, I am seven days uh, behind. So for those of you that are new, just checking me out. Just remember that I am seven days behind. So whatever I record today is Sunday or Saturday, I guess. Will be released next week, Saturday. So uh, it's never exactly that same day or the following day when I release the videos. Just keep that in mind and uh yeah so anyways catch you on the next one it's time to get going it's time to move on put the
just behind me. That day is gonna come. 